Hi, uh, in this video, I'm just going to verify um, the 95% confidence interval built, uh, that is default built in the Tableau. So um, there's nothing to show, or not, I'm not like showing any technique, it's just to validate or verify the, the, um, the, the function in the, in the uh, Tableau. So, um, I think I need to uh, uh, no. So if I Okay, so let's see if I can make it as line or even dot should be fine. And add the, the trend line here. Okay, so even added trend line showing 95. Um, okay, so uh, it says show confidence spam. Uh, after validating the data or the line, you will see that this is the 95% confidence interval for the mean value, not the confidence interval for um, for the for each data set. Since you don't have a you don't have a, a, a sample for each data set, so you you, you won't you won't get the uh, 95 confidence uh, confidence interval for each point. It is only the mean value. As you can see, that it grows. As it um, as the data go uh, toward both ends, so now I'm going to verify the how Tableau calculate these three lines here. Okay, as you can see, that when you hover over the trend line, y is equal to a point o negative point four one, which is the slope, uh, the, the the intercept, and uh, three times x, which is the slope, and then you can see the r square and the p value. The p-value should be the value for this entire function, not the coefficient. So now I'm going to validate and then recalculate or to regenerate uh, a, a similar graph uh, in R, just to verify how Tableau calculate these three lines here. So I have the same data set here. Calculate the regression. So you can see that my coefficient intercept negative four point one four. I think uh, in Tableau is 4.16, and uh, the coefficient is 3.06, 3 So here, for each of the for each uh, 12 each of the 12 number, get the error, and take the standard deviation for the error. Uh, create an empty space for the um, for uh, for uh, taking the upper and lower bound. So uh, this is the function to uh, the formula to create an upper bound, lower bound. Basically, uh, this is your uh, predicted y hat, and then times the confidence interval uh, times the uh, the quantile with uh, the formula. Uh, you can find this. I'm not going to. You can. This is the typical uh, function to calculate the the uh, upper lower bound. Uh, for 95% confident interval for the mean value. So um, you can just uh, find it online if you're not, if you want to uh, have a deeper understand. But uh, then there should also be a proof or how you can derive this function. So, um, and then calculate the upper bound and lower bound. And then you can, all, there's also, well, uh, there's also a, a built-in function called uh, predict, uh, confidence interval in R so that you can also you can also check the lower bound the upper bound that uh, without with so this uh, this part I manually type it in uh, so I'm doing the calculation uh, 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 manually but uh, uh, in R it also have the built-in function which is uh, as there's a built-in function in Tableau so uh, so let's check the upper bound so 0 0.969695. So let's take the value that I calculate. Okay, so let's check the last. So you can see that uh, this is how, at least this is how uh, R, 
the built-in function in R to create 95% confidence interval. Now let's plot the value, uh, the, the raw data. So this should be similar as you just see in the in the in the in the tableau. Then bring in the um, the confidence interval, and then you can also bring in the trend line. So which the trend line should be the summary here. Um, so let's take a look here. It is a uh, four point uh, zero negative point four one four, and then zero point six. Yep, it is exactly the same. How I get the how I get the uh, value by using the uh, this is a simple linear regression. So you can see that the data that the, the model uh, uh, the simple the model for simple for the trend line is exactly the same, which is just a, a simple regression. After you calculate the coefficient and uh, get the uh, upper bound lower bound, it is uh, identical to what uh, the default uh, the built-in function in R, and then it is also the same as in the in the tableau. So now I can verify that this is the 95% confidence interval with the trend line is the simple uh, uh, simply a simple linear regression. So this is any technique just to verify to, to verify the let's say uh, tableau did a great uh, uh, calculated correctly for the trend line at the confidence interval. So um, thank you very much. If you are interested in the in the in the in the formula, you can always Google for the ninety five percent confidence interval um, as described in the formula. Thank you very much.